Here's the comparison between the iPhone 12 Pro released in 2020 and the iPhone 14 released in 2022. This comparison is still very relevant because despite its age, the 12 Pro still holds up well against the updates Apple introduced in the 14, such as improved cameras, a more powerful processor, and a likely improvement in battery life. So, which one offers a better value for money? Firstly, aesthetically, the two phones look very similar. The 12 Pro has a stainless steel frame with a shiny finish and a matte glass back, making it more elegant but also more prone to fingerprint smudges. The iPhone 14, on the other hand, features aluminum frames and a mirror-like glass back with a uniform color across the body. The buttons, like the volume and power buttons, remain the same in terms of placement, and both retain the old lightning connector. A notable difference is in the camera setup. The iPhone 12 Pro has three cameras, while the iPhone 14 has two, but these are significantly larger due to the upgraded sensors, which might suggest better photo quality, but we'll explore this further shortly. Regarding the display, both phones have a 6.1-inch screen with a maximum brightness of 1200 nits and a refresh rate of 60 Hz. I must say that both displays are truly exceptional and beautiful, with no marked differences. Being OLED panels, images and photos appear vivid and bright, but the display on the iPhone 12 Pro seems to have something extra, making it warmer and perhaps a bit more professional. I can't pinpoint the exact reason, it might just be my impression, but that's what I see with my own eyes. A significant difference between the two models is the Face ID notch. In the iPhone 14, the notch is smaller, providing more screen space and allowing for a better view of icons like the battery percentage and time. When it comes to performance, both phones are exceptional, and it's amazing how well they handle daily tasks effortlessly. Whether it's using social media, browsing the web, taking photos, or watching multimedia content, both provide a smooth and seamless experience. The iPhone 12 Pro is equipped with the A14 Bionic processor, while the 14 has the A15 Bionic. On paper, the A15 Bionic is slightly more powerful, but in everyday use, I haven't noticed any substantial differences in performance. Both phones handle everything without issues, and the 12 Pro doesn't show any flaws or slowdowns that would make it obsolete. One of the key features that give both phones long-lasting performance is the presence of 6GB of RAM. This amount of memory allows for efficient app management, giving them an edge in maintaining high performance and better handling future software updates over the years. Moving on to the cameras, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, the iPhone 12 Pro has three cameras, ultra-wide, wide, and 2x telephoto, all 12 megapixels. The iPhone 14, on the other hand, has an ultra-wide and a wide camera, both 12 megapixels, but with larger sensors that allow more light to be captured, improving photo quality both during the day and especially at night. I must say, the improvement is there. The photos from the iPhone 14 are a bit brighter and less noisy in low light conditions. However, the iPhone 12 Pro still holds its own, taking surprisingly beautiful and high quality photos. A significant difference is that the iPhone 12 Pro has a 2x optical zoom, which allows for high quality close-up shots and can go up to a 10x digital zoom. Additionally, it can take photos in RAW format. The iPhone 14, on the other hand, has a maximum digital zoom of 5x, with acceptable but less powerful quality. On the flip side, the iPhone 14 offers cinema mode, which allows for professional video recording that highlights the subject, and action mode, which makes videos much more stabilized compared to the iPhone 12 Pro. Regarding battery life, this remains a delicate issue for iPhones. Specifically, the iPhone 12 Pro, probably due to its age, struggles to last a full day with normal use, often forcing me to recharge it during the day. The iPhone 14, however, offers better battery life, allowing me to comfortably get through the day, although with intensive use, things still get a bit worse. To summarize, I believe the iPhone 12 Pro can still be a strong competitor to the iPhone 14, as it manages to offer a high-quality user experience in terms of both performance and camera. The iPhone 14, on the other hand, is undoubtedly a more advanced upgrade, but in practical terms, it doesn't offer groundbreaking improvements, though it has received new features like emergency SOS via satellite and crash detection. This leads me to think that upgrading from the 12 Pro to the 14 might not be worth it, but the iPhone 14 makes more sense as a first purchase. Which one is your favorite? And that's all for this video. If you liked it, 
Leave a free like and subscribe to the channel for future tech updates. See you next time.